Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl May Mune here with you today. And I'm going to be showing you how to get a really soft and romantic smoked out eyeliner and eyeshadow look that goes beautifully with blue contact lenses. <laughs> I've just taken them out now um, to show you guys how it looks with natural brown eyes and it looks beautiful if I must say so myself but you could wear this look with blue contact lenses as well and the reason why I say blue is because colors like orange or corally shades tend to make blue eyes pop because orange is on the opposite end of the color wheel to blue so I've tried to incorporate loads of like warm orangey corally shades um, and these are natural shades which I've used in my Huda Beauty palette the new nude palette it's a gorgeous palette you see it has a lot of pinky warm orangey tones and I use these lenses to change my eye color and these were sent to me um, if you follow me on Instagram you'll see who they're sent to me by also, I'm going to post down in the description where I got these from. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching my tutorial. Let me know if this video is useful to you. Um, thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. So first off, I'm putting my contacts in. I clean them and keep them soaked in clean lens solution after every use. Now I'm going to apply them with this applicator just so you can see what I'm doing. I just look into the lens or you can even look up and gently place the lens onto your eye and move it into position. I'm going to prime my lids with Estee Lauder Concealer in 3W Medium. I'm gently patting it on with a flat brush. We're going to use a selection of matte shades from the Huda Beauty New Nude palette. Starting with Teddy, which is a nice terracotta color, I'm going to use it as a transition shade and trace out where I want my crease to be. Then with Raw, which is a warm henna brown, I'm going to create further depth and dimension blending a V shape around the outer corner of my eye. Taking Love Bite, which is a bruised purple, I'm going to concentrate it on my outer corner, gently blending out any harsh lines. Using my P. Louise base in Rumor, I'm going to show you guys how I like to cut my crease. I find with my round eyes, I shouldn't cut my crease in too high or it looks too cartoonish. I like to keep it reasonably low and in an almond shape. I spread the base on and then I gently use a stamping motion. I stamp the brush to create a neat and crisp edge. Using Play, which I would describe is the color of a cooked salmon, I'm going to pat it over my base. The stickiness of the base should grab onto the powder. Again, using Teddy, I'm going to pat it on the outer edge of my cut crease. And then using a fluffy brush, blend it into Play. I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner. I like to use this one as it's a bit drier in formula and I'm going to apply it with an angled flat brush. Using a pencil brush, I'm going to dip it back into my gel eyeliner and then drag it up into my crease, smudging and blending as I go on, making sure there are no harsh lines. You should get a softened eyeliner effect with a deepened crease. Using my concealer, I'm going to sharpen the edges to give them a clean finish. So these are the lashes I like to use. I get them from eBay. They are called 3D Mink Lashes. 
and they last me a lot of wears and are really affordable. I'm going to use this style. My favourite lash glue is the Duo Quick Set Adhesive because it dries in literal seconds. I apply a thin layer on the band and then blow on it gently before looking down and applying the lash as close as possible to my natural lash line. I have trimmed the lashes to fit my eyes because they are quite long and my eyes are short. I like to pinch my falsies to my real eyelashes. This ensures that they are really stuck down and won't lift off throughout the day. So there we have it! Super romantic, summery, warm eyeshadow look that you can wear with contact lenses or without. Thanks for watching!